Joe, come. What? Someone selling a brand new iPad, just eighty dollars. Someone named George is selling. Hmm. Hey, come. Wait. Uh, what? Don't reveal your name first. You don't know who George is. Oh yeah. Okay. Great. What do you think? Hmm. Let's check if George is who he claims to be. But well, how to check? Just ask for his name. Let's see how he replies. Look, it's an NRIC. Address, name, and photo. It has to be real. But why is he photocopied? Come on, you are just being over cautious. News. And you have already transferred eighty dollars to him. Yes. What shall we do now? Well, we have a copy of George and Ara IC. I'll go visit him. I will go with you. Yes. Hi, I'm Mr. Neo. Three days ago, my wife bought an iPad from you. iPad? Yes. I'm not selling any iPad. Oh yes, you have. She even transferred $80 to your bank account. Listen, I haven't sold any iPad. Oh? I think there must be some mistake. Would you like to come in and talk? You said you transferred $80 to my bank account. Yes. May I know the account number? This is the one. That's not my account number. Are you sure? Yes, I don't have that account number. You even send an image of your IC to me. Yes, but how do you get it? You tell me. Because you sent it to my wife. No, I didn't. If not you, then who? Okay. What is the sender's phone number? This is the one. That's not my number. Huh? Then who is the George that I have been talking to? George, have you photocopied your NRR IC recently? Three months ago, I lost my IC. But why? I think we have all been scammed. Shall we make a police report? Yes, of course. The Electronic Police Centre, or EPC in short, is a one-stop police portal available to you anytime, anywhere. For non-emergency cases, we encourage you to lodge your reports online via the EPC. Once you have selected a particular e-service, you need to log in using your SingPass for authentication. You also need to key in your local contact number and a valid email address. One of the services in the EPC is the Stolen and Lost Property Index, or SPECS in short. When purchasing products with unique identification or serial numbers online or from second-hand shops, you may log into this service to make an informed decision by checking if the product that you are about to buy has been reported stolen or lost. For most mobile devices, key in star hex 06 hex to get the iMain number shown on the mobile screen. Currently, Specs allows property screening on five types of serialized property, namely mobile phones or mobile devices, laptop or notebook computers, portable media players, cameras and watches. By keying in the serial number or IMEI, the system can then verify whether there has been a report lodged on the item. When no record is found, you may proceed to make your purchase. If a record is found, you should lodge an online police report and let us know when and whom the item has been or was purchased from. The police will then seize the item for further investigation so that we can trace the culprit in the event it is related to a crime. 
If you have misplaced or lost any of your items, you may file a lost property report. As you will be able to file this report online, you do not have to go to a neighbourhood police centre to lodge the report. Whether it is filing a traffic accident report, making queries on the status of your driving licence, driver improvement points, and updates on your traffic records, the EPC affords you convenience and speed of access at your fingertips. However, there are situations where you should not lodge an online report. Call 999 if the incident is still in progress, the suspect is at the scene or around the vicinity, someone's life or property is in immediate danger, someone has been injured in the incident, the report pertains to a missing person, or physical evidence such as blood stains, fingerprints have been left at the crime scene. We've come to the end of this episode of Crime Watch. If you have any feedback, do drop us an email. I'm DSP Julia Slim, signing off.